Hey everybody, welcome to Learn Billiards. I'm Mitty Altman, your PBIA instructor. You asked for it, you got it. I had many, many requests on my YouTube channel to put together a DVD or a digital file with um, all my lessons compiled together. Now I have almost 80 lessons, so it'd be really difficult to um, put them all together as one. So I'm gonna break them up in a series. This is series one, or I should say part one of how to play billiards, right? Basically what it is is I took most of my beginner lessons, put them together, and there's some intermediate as well. So um, anybody from, like I said, beginner to intermediate could get some um, good value out of this. I hope you enjoy it. Hey everybody, welcome to Learn Billiards. I'm Mitty Altman, your PBIA instructor. Today we're gonna to go over three extremely common scratch shots and how to avoid them. All right, so here we are at the table and I'm gonna demonstrate three extremely common scratch shots and how to avoid them. These shots come up every day when you're playing. I mean, it's just so many times and I've seen so many people take it for granted, especially the easiest scratch shot there is, a straight in shot. Um, People just go ahead and they hit the ball center, you know, not hard enough to do a stun shot or they, they do a follow shot and the cue ball falls right in, they lose the game. So again, normally this is what I see a lot of people do. Boom, and they scratch and that's it. Game over if that was the eight ball. So what I'm gonna do, I wanna show you a few different ways. Again, you pick the one that's gonna worse, but work best for you, sorry about that. And I'm gonna hit this high left. And you can see, after the cue ball makes contact with the object ball, it went to the left, hit it off the rail. We're at the table, we're gonna be practicing the draw shot. I hear a lot of people, I did a couple of videos on draw shots, but I still get um, a lot of requests for it. So remember, draw shot, if you make contact with your object ball, because of all the backspin you put on the cue ball, the cue ball is gonna reverse its direction. So it's gonna come back to you. So remember, chalk up really well. You gotta get down low. Don't be afraid. You wanna keep the cue level and your follow through. We're gonna be doing practice drills, the draw shot. I'm gonna show you three different drills that you must learn and it will improve your game tremendously. All right, so let's go ahead and take this shot. This shot's all about speed control. You hit too hard, you're gonna lose it. I'm gonna teach you frozen rail shots, how to sink that ball and how to play position. So here we are at the table. Uh, we're gonna go on shot number one. So here's the layout. My 11 ball is frozen on the rail. Um, the, obviously this whole video is about frozen rail shots. I'm on the second diamond. So remember, pockets count as a diamond. So there's one diamond, two diamond, frozen on the rail. My cue ball is one diamond up my long rail, one diamond in from my short rail. So again, I use those uh, binders. All right, so I want to sink that 11 ball in a corner pocket and I got to get position. So here's my target area, and I'm um, on the center diamond. So again, remember, pockets of one diamond. So one, two diamond, three diamond. I'm three diamonds over, and I want to get, oh, I messed that up, and I want to get position in this area right here. So I'm going to take this slow speed follow shot. You see, it puts me right in the red. It's right where I want to be. Um, again, super simple shot, but this drill, what I'm doing is we're going to take the same shot over and over, but you're going to see the difference in position that we get. 
So that's shot number one. And we're playing for position in this target area right here. So I'll take that shot again. It's a slow speed follow shot. You can see, again, right on our target area. Two great position play routines to practice. Practice these drills and you'll be able to control that cue ball with much greater accuracy. All right, so let's take another shot. Now I'm gonna hit this shot with a half a tip of high right to control my cue ball down the center of the table after it makes contact with my object ball. Let's see if I could get on that target zone. Yep, I'm within the green. So that's the whole object of this drill. And now I got a, such an easy shot on this eight ball to win the game. All right, so let's go ahead and take another shot. And please bear with me if you hear some rumbling in the background. Um, I'm filming this and there's a thunderstorm going on outside and it's pretty severe. So anyway, I'm gonna continue with this. So again, I'm just gonna show you what happens if I just hit it with a high follow. Now that would be the natural angle and look, it, I would scratch. So that's why I took that shot originally with a half a tip of high right English. So again, same exact setup. I wanna get positioned down here. So I'm gonna go a half a tip, high right. I hit that one a little bit too hard, but you can see I came straight back.